Good evening. Hello, gorgeous angels, insights, and more. This is Suzanne Fisher with Living Life by Design. And one of the things that I want to share with you that is so important to me is um, we're coming upon Thanksgiving. It's Sunday evening, the Sunday before Thanksgiving. And a lot of us who have grown up through the years and raised our children, we are looking for the new life now, the new guidance. And one of the things that my sweetie and I, Chris and I, are doing this year that we've never done before is we're going to um, volunteer for one of the uh, community outreach Thanksgiving dinners. And it's something that I've wanted to do for years. It's something I wanted to um, have my children exposed to. And um, it wasn't welcomed in the life I was living. And so um, I wanted to share with you that sometimes it's about giving thanks for how well you have come along. It's like, you know, remember the old logo um, for Virginia Slim's uh, cigarettes? You know, it was, you come a long way, baby. <laughs> well, we have. We have come a long way. And I want to remind you that it's okay that maybe today wasn't as perfect as yesterday or you know, two years ago, everything was peachy king, and this year you're kind of struggling more. But I want to remind you that, you know, we are all in a learning curve. And be grateful, be thankful for where you're at. And these kind of community outreach dinners are designed to give and share with the ones that need it. You know, Chris and I were asked to be hosts and what that means is we get to sit at tables with people who they don't have any family. They're by themselves. They don't have a lot of money. And they're going to come and rejoice in a meal together. And we're going to sit and visit with them like you would when you sit with your family. And we're going to small talk and chit chat and, and visit. And sorry, my commercial came on my Pandora. And I just want to share with you that I'm honored. You know, I'm I'm so grateful to finally be doing this, and I'm looking forward to it. And I'll get the, you know, it's the first time in many years that I'll actually be th sharing Thanksgiving with my mother, Geraldine. And Geraldine will be with me, that, or actually she's the one who volunteers every Friday for this, this front line who does a food bank. And she's done it for years, and um, she's kind of the one who brought me the, my awareness about this community dinner. And I was like... You know, I looked at Chris and I said, you know, this is something I've always wanted to do. This is something that has meant a lot to me. And I want to ask you, what has been something on your kind of bucket list or something that you wanted to do but you haven't done that maybe could make a difference in someone's mm -hmm. life? Maybe that that little bit that can make that difference. So I ask you to be willing to step out of your comfort zone and maybe, maybe something like this. Maybe it's ringing the bell for the Salvation Army. Maybe it's holding the door open for somebody or, or holding somebody's arm as they walk through, you know, an icy parking lot. Um, many a times I'll scooch up next to somebody, especially an older person. I can see they're having a hard time walking and I snuggle up right to them, hold their arm and I say, come on, let's walk in together. And I laugh with them and I chat and, and you know what? That little bit makes me feel good because I know that I made them feel good and I, get, I got to share some love. So I ask you, what are, what are you going to do that's different between now and Thanksgiving to make this year a better Thanksgiving? So I'm sending you love and light. I love you. You are amazing. You are magnificent. And I look forward to hearing your stories. More later.